And we'll just start the next one. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, now it does it. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pippo's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Put your hands up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey. What do we call you? Jesus. Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. I hate being out so close to dark. To see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. <sighs> I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. Fingers crossed. There it is. Let's take it and go. Why would we get that lucky? Hey, keep it down. I know it sucks, Kate, but you gotta watch out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. 
He's just... One of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead, <sighs> muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. We should, uh, really get back inside. Yeah. Okay. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt, or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now, while we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about... You guys go, and I stay here. You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean... He, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow, we're all going to see each other again. I like that. I'm going to write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
pudding. Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. We were trying to prove that we could be trusted. That we'd follow orders. Anything to get her to your hospital. You that afraid of an injured woman, Max? It wasn't her. It was the rest of them. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Even if you are related to David. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. I'll be there as soon as I can! Let's go. Trip. Oh, God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, 
Hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... No fucking way David was a part of that. That's not the kind of man he is. Maybe he wasn't the last time you saw him, but you said yourself, it's been a while. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. No matter what he might show to other people, he's got a good heart. He might be buried under a ton of shit, but it's in there. Well, let's just hope he's the same guy you remember. If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. Of course not. We're happy to be here. It's... good to see you alive, brother. Same here. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. She was just standing there. 
minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt, and she was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger. Whoa, what the fuck have you done badger, now? Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Hey, Doug, thank you for the Do follow. me a favor. Keep this to yourself. The politics How you doing, here, buddy? They can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. You wouldn't let that happen, would you? We only just got here. It's not just up to me. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Well, is it now? <laughs> you didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. Just felt like dropping by. Thank you. That Appreciate woman, it. The fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you, for three months. Eventually, the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of him, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. The day Dad died, I promised I'd stick around, be there for the family. Well, came my word. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I didn't mean you guys, I'm just not listening. Get off me. I was gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Uh, what, 
You okay? Oh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can't just cherry-pick who you want. Why don't you let them all out? Can they all perform surgery on a dirt floor with a pair of pliers and no anesthetic? There's your answer. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Uh, uh, ooh. Remember what I said? Toasty. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> oh yeah, the cell you threw me in was totally five-star. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. What's we up, value Mario? straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct, 
We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. You'll toe the line. He'll answer to me if he doesn't. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. <sighs> It's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. <laughs> We've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Nah. I'm changing that. I don't give a fuck. That Pisses me off. I thought David was gonna fucking say something, but he fucking didn't. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. 
Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. It's our litmus test for loyalty. You're gonna regret that when you're older. You know, for job interviews and stuff. Ugh, oh, smartass. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Someone takes our mark. They're committed. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. You have something to say? One of your people! Some asshole called Badger. He put a bullet in a little girl. My niece. David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David. This cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No. We need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They overran Prescott with walkers. Ran them in on trucks. Badger did that. Not me! You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear! David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. You have to do something. I... I can't right now. But maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? Slippery, slippery slew, coming for the shoe. Licking on my pool. You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear.
pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. One that shines the brightest. Oh, that That's one. it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Did I just stick that bat up my ass? Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back, and I got yours. Of course. After you. I tell you, man. Like, I thought you and Kate were. What? You know. I wouldn't have guessed she was married to. Not you. I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but. She's my brother's wife. She's family. End the story. Come on, man. You're not a dumbass. When it comes to these kind of things, the story never really ends. Not for everyone, at least. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. Good morning, bitch. Say it back. The same or otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Goddamn mess. And it never quite washes out. Eleanor and I, we were something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Okay, look alive, people. I got him. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Jesus, you're insane. You! E! Ah! Ooh! Batter up, fuckface! You! Come on, what? man, move your ass. There's no sound at all. You want a piece of this? E. Down. E.
What's up, girl? How you doing? You should be more careful with this. We're even now. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. No thanks to David. And no thanks at all. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Oh no, not this backstory. Fuck! Yo, I'm about to get some manly fucking tears up in this bitch. Ava and I were in this unit together back in the army. And uh, believe it or not, we're gonna I get you the medicine you need, AJ. I don't care what they say. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. I have to try. to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh. See? It's not so bad. 
Oh God. AJ. Shh. What the hell is this? He's sick. I told her it was a bad idea. You fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? I had nothing left to lose. AJ was gonna die if I didn't. He's gonna die anyway. That waste? That'll He's cost just someone's sick, man. life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> Nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. But that's the reality. I'm sorry. I thought there was a chance. At least he's not suffering. You think that's worth the cost? We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. This was about his survival. So don't you dare judge me. It's always about survival. We have a better chance of it with you gone. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. Get out of my fucking way. Right now. Clem. He's in no condition to travel. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. <sighs> I love you, Goofball. I love you. Come on, Clem. <laughs> I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. No, he said Clem. He didn't say Mom. Then push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Here they 
they come. I can... Ugh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. And we're gonna have to. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Whoa, man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. How do I force it open? I'm so confused. Nothing useful in here. Pick up the pace, hobby! Well, there's a car. With no wheels. Shit! God damn it! Close. Hopefully that door holds him. Shut up, Chris. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in. <gasps> Don't make me do this. Clem. Don't do it, Javi! He'll die. He deserves worse. He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. How could you do that to Clem? God, what if it had been Mariana or Gabe? What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying.
That's great. Clem, this is good news. How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait, this is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. <laughs> Shit! Ward it up. <laughs> Jesus! Something to burn! Something heavy! There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger!
refit at the junkyard. You better not let that fly in my way. If I'd have known you were David's brother, <coughs> I'd have shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. <coughs> but this'll do. Took my goddamn guts out. Um, um, fuck. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <laughs> Not anymore. Fuck her, and fuck you too. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Harvey and Clam Man, they're the best. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. Hey, man. Back the fuck off. I don't need a lecture from you. You need it from someone. You don't want to become the thing you hate. That man shot his niece right in front of him. I would have done the same, Javi. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm well, surprised you care. Human life soon, isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. You sure you'll be okay on your own? To be honest, I think my odds are better than yours. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. 
One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Hey, the mess never washes out. Might as well get neck deep. We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. This will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? Bitch, look I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Huh? I hope it involves getting far away from here. Family means something different now. You have to make it for yourself. See you when I see you. Goodbye, Clem. I love you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Hurry. You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical oh, center. Gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm?
the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Dumbasses. Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. It's David's fight, Kate. And we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on! You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had him into David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. We can't, dude. We don't have a choice. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. What we got, dude? Here. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. Just know that if we do run into her, she's not a big fan of your dad. Why not? You should ask her. Or maybe both of them. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. 
he definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. Chill out, dog. Little pussy. I don't let your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. It's over, Joan. You can stop your posturing. Posturing? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raidy? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? We had a deal, Max. Your life for the truth. I didn't forget. Then what are you waiting for? Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here.
You put yourself before the group. We can leave. Please, just let us. Paul, come on! I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. Honor your brother's request. You and 65% of players demanded justice for Mariana's murder. Yeah, I had to change that because I knew I picked a bad option. 84.9% of players injected AJ with the medicine. Dude, I can't believe people decided not to. This is nuts. How did Badger die? Uh, Sixty-six point seven percent of players destroyed Badger's skull. Jesus. I was the five point four percent of players that hit him a couple times and let him turn. What was Max's fate? You and fifty-six point five percent of players brought Max back with you. Why not? Who did you side with in the end? You and 53.3% of players stuck to David's plan. Interesting. So I guess the one thing was that I did wrong that everyone else didn't do was just let Badger turn. Hit him a couple times and left him. 